it is fiction. It's mixed together. It's hard to separate them until you examine it closely.
Now the president turned to his experts at NASA and said, are we ready? The director of the space agency only half reassured him. He said, we might not be able to send back films of the first steps on the moon. Well, President Nixon refused that idea. No way. The whole world is waiting to see an American take the first steps on the moon. Then one of the presidential advisors, I don't know, General Alexander Haig or Donald Rumsfeld, said hesitantly, um, what if we film the first steps on the moon in a studio? Then if we fail, we can always show those pictures to the public. I talked to the president and Kissinger supported it. And at first I didn't take it very seriously and I was told not to take it very seriously. Then it kept going on and on and on. The president was prepared to do so and I was prepared to support that. And that was decided basically by Henry Al Haig and the Secretary of Defense. I thought it was the right thing to do because we have to do something to show that we're still the United States of America. We walked out of the room and, and President Nixon said, uh, I've decided to do that and I need you to do this job. We're going to do it. It was just amazing. So we were trying to figure out who, who would do what when. He simply has got to have the person he wants in that job. And it has to be someone who's capable of doing it. And it has to be somebody he knows well. I said, I'd like to talk to one person. And he said, who? Donald Rumsfeld was the first to propose Stanley Kubrick. The film would have to be perfect, but the set could never be built in time. The filming of 2001, A Space Odyssey, was drawing to a close in a suburb of London. Why not use the sets there? Rumsfeld was sure that Kubrick would not refuse. 